Hello, everybody. Um, a little bit of a panic over here. Will, are you panicking as much as I am? Uh, I was earlier today. That's good. That's good. Uh, how about you tell us your reason why you were panicking earlier? <clears throat> so I was sitting mm -hmm. at home. Yep. Uh, playing uh, Metal Gear Solid Five. Okay. Which is a fantastic game. And I heard a little ding, and I went, "Oh, I forgot! I put a little pizza in my toaster oven." <clears throat> That's the, not a euphemism. There was a little pizza in my toaster oven. Mm -hmm. So I ran to the kitchen, and I, I, and then I heard a bunch of dripping. Now, if anyone's familiar with me. I'm sorry, uh, could you say the last 10 seconds again? I switched to the game, and I forgot that that chunks my whole computer. Um, so I ran to the kitchen, pulled the pizza out, heard a bunch of dripping. And if anyone knows my woes, my um, the shower above my shower in the apartment above me, the... Uh, what I think it is, I think the water was backing up into the, um, you know, the like safety hole in a bathtub yes. where the water drains out. Yeah. That part wasn't sealed, but the the other part was. Mm -hmm. So it was pouring down. So I was like, oh, shoot. So I turned around and above my sink was just water pouring above my sink, not my bathroom. So uh, I quickly called the uh, rental mm -hmm. company and was like, hey, blah, blah. And they're like. Yeah, there's some so I go open the door to go upstairs to tell my neighbor, like, hey, stop taking a shower, running the water, whatever. And the guy the maintenance guy's literally right there. He's like, Water heater broke, water heater broke. <laughs> uh, so I had this gross, dark yellow water mm -hmm. pouring into my kitchen that looked like urine, but it was just old. It was all the it was new water oh. coming through like sixty years of dust. Yeah. And so now my drywall's all cracked and gross. And they didn't come down to do anything afterwards. I just had buckets everywhere. Yeah, uh, that is kind of weird. Yeah. They're very, yeah. like, forgetful. Anyways, um, today's the day, folks. Today is the day. It's time for... <laughs> today. Did you see chat? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get them stream numbers up. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, today's the day. We're gonna be playing some Dark Souls 2. Um, so let me get in here. Will, can you see Parsec? Uh, yes, I just hit connect. Okay. Do I need to accept or are you good? I think you need to accept. Okay, I didn't see it pop up. I'll switch over. Sorry, folks. Um, I thought I had everything set up, and then I went to start the. Uh, uh, let yeah, me know what you what you can see. Oh, I see downloads, setting. Okay. Um, but basically, the problem is our beautiful, beautiful death counter is not working. So I'm gonna have to manually do it. I, it's weird. It's Ooh. it's uh, it's throwing like a. DLL error, but it's like it's clearly an issue with the program itself because it's like it just dumps like two paragraphs of like you log have, snippet. Uh, put a Google uh, Docs thing so I could update it. Um, that way you don't have to go in and out of the game. Uh, you know, actually, I've got time. Let's do that real quick. How about um, I'm gonna you set up the Google Doc? Or you know what? I think yes. I already have, I think I already have one set up. Okay, that just I just shoot me the link then. Tested. It doesn't look as good as the death counter, but it does work. Yeah. But that way you don't have to do that because it gets real chunky when you leave the game. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go back and forth. I, I, I think it's because it's like full screen solo. Full screen solo. I, for the life of me, I cannot remember how this game starts. I know how three starts. I know how one starts. Um... Okay, one second, folks. Let me uh, let me do some on-the-fly stuff here. Whoops. I just have to change the number, right? Yes. Yes, that's all you have to do. And I am going to... Oh, no, this should not be in here. Uh-oh. Should be in here. We're getting there, folks. It's a shame, because that piece of software was perfect. You know? 
Yeah. It was exactly what we needed. Oh, speaking of software, man, you solved my Windows problem. <laughs> yeah. I was... <laughs> how about you go ahead and describe it while I'm setting this up? So, I was trying to... I think I was trying to pull up Battle.net. I can't remember what it was, but I always do... Actually, you're the one who made me start doing this. I think it was you. It was either you or my other friend. Um, by just hitting Windows key and start typing to find things. Yeah. I, like, had never done that before. And, and now exactly, I do it all the time. That's exactly what I do, yeah. So I was doing that, and I was like, nothing's showing up. And I assumed... I had, had my computer on for, like, a week straight because I was doing all those renders for you for... Uh, yeah. the Morristown thing. And so I was like, oh, it's probably because I haven't restarted in a while. I've been running After Effects. I always mess stuff up. So I restarted my computer, and then today I saw your tweet. Ian tweeted, hey, if you're having problems with Windows search thing, do this. And it was a tweet to, or a link to a tweet. And uh, uh, sure enough, I just hit the Windows key, and it was still there because I hadn't thought about it in days. And uh, yeah, you had to just run some code in PowerShell. I guess it was Bing messing up. Pretty much, yeah. It's it's something about how it was um, it was and reaching out to the internet. Bing. It was sending your search results to the internet, even to get local results. <laughs> and then there was some 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 sort of server problem. And well, they're, they're assuming it was some sort of server problem. So basically, it was getting an empty response, and so it was just blank. You would hit the Windows key, you would start typing, and it would just show blank. And it was so annoying because like that's how I open ninety percent of my programs. Like yeah. restream chat, Windows key, RES. Yeah, exactly. All that kind of stuff. And then I had to go find it by um, alphabetically. But then some things like I use a program called Cura, C-U-R-A for 3D printing. It's not under Cura. It's under U for Utilimaker, which is the company that makes it. And it was like yeah. trying to figure stuff out like that. Okay, folks, there it is. That's the death counter. Um... Before we do, I sorry, I'm a little discombobulated here because that's stupid, stupid, Sting stupid, counter. stupid death counter is perfect until it stopped working. Um, okay, let me get it back so you can see it. What's that little top box for? That is the timer, but the problem is oh, I, right, 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 right. it doesn't show the time unless it's running. And I, so it's currently running. See, it says 47. Well, you can't see that. I'll, I'll kick it off and then show it to you guys. But yeah. first, I need to go into the game and verify my video settings. Let's see if I can get rid of this stutter. Uh, okay, got it, thanks. So I am playing Scholar of the First Sin, and the main reason why is I know that this changes some of the enemy placements is because the video settings in this are much better than the original. Oh, I didn't realize it did that. Yeah, it like unlocks HD resolutions and 60 FPS, I believe. I own the big statue version of Dark Souls 2. I think it's also Scholars of the First Sin. Because um, it was at... Somewhere was clo closing down and it was like three. So, so I just bought the whole thing. Oh, just a, I, I think it's at my parents' house still, but it's literally. Uh, uh, sorry, like, this this thing's foot. still chunky. Okay, let me um. Let me. Oh, we're gonna start the timer later. Sorry, I forgot about that. Oh my god. Chunky, chunky. Uh, yeah, it's I. Uh, I I think it may be my. I've noticed some limitations with my graphic card because I am running four monitors. Oh yeah, that would make. Also, have you noticed that Restream Chat is an asshole? No, I haven't, why? You can't, it does not obey the normal window rules for Windows, where you can like move it around easily with the Windows key and arrows and resize it, oh. it doesn't obey it. So I have to go find it anytime I want to move it. And then the I problem is, those... when I go in the game, half the time it minimizes or it moves the restream chat. I uh, told restream chat to be on top of everything. That oh. fixes 
My main issue with it is I would always lose it. How do you do on top of everything? Uh, it's in its settings. Yo. Uh, it's an appearance. Okay, I'll do that. This is a great stream so far, folks. But so I gotta create a character. Then I'll get restream chat on top. Then I'll test it real quick to make sure I can still see it. And then we'll start the timer and get it going. Okay. I don't think I need any of this auto target. Is going so well. Okay, here we go. Got my uh, Los Pollos Hermanos apron on because I was cooking dinner. What'd you cook for dinner? This Parmesan Caesar chicken with roasted carrots and mashed potatoes. Yeah. It's pretty good. Sounds about right. I can skip this, right? I'm gonna leave it up to you, Will. Ow. What, skipping this? Yeah. No, uh, I wanna watch it. It's been a while. Okay. Been a while. A place where souls may mend your age. I think I know how this game starts. Yes, I remember now. 100%. You thought you could make me forget you will it. Lose everything. Ian. I'm like. This series is is making me slowly like come to the symbol of the like a a sort of it's not catharsis and it's understanding understanding of my relationship with dark souls yeah I always thought I didn't like them because I was bad at them or I was too lazy to put the time into them but I don't like them because I I just I don't think they're for me True. Now that I'm actually giving them an honest shot, and even playing like Jedi Fallen Order, which is a very polished mainstream version of the Souls born formula, I'm still not really liking it. So I think it's just not for me. Hi, thanks for the sub. She's got that email. <laughs> A great king it was fast. built a great kingdom. I believe they called it Drangley. Do -do 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 -do. Have we talked before about how Dark Souls lore is a lot like Destiny lore, where I'm sure it's great once you get into it, but it is impossible to get into it through the game? Um, I think we said that last time. I'm trying to think which is more impossible. Like, I'm trying to think if you only ha had a copy of Destiny... Mm -hmm. or only had a copy of Dark Souls and no internet, which is harder to figure out. Are we going Vanilla Destiny, where it was Grimlock If it's hearts? Vanilla Destiny, it's definitely Destiny, because you had to go online. Yeah, but now that they're or in the game... I'm thinking Destiny 2. Even Destiny 1, didn't they end up adding copies in the game of the Grimlock? I don't... Maybe not? I can't really remember. I would say, I would say Dark Souls is... easy. Um, no. There's the same amount of information available to you, but you have to find everything in um, Dark Souls versus you could look at everything in your collections menu now in Destiny 2. Mm -hmm. I think... You have to, like, go talk to people at certain times. In this but I think the other thing is that I think in Destiny... And correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't have a lot of experience with the lore in either of these games, but I believe Destiny... My understanding is Destiny has answers and explanations in a way, and Dark Souls does not necessarily have explicit explanations or answers. No, D Dark Souls has a lot of answers. Like answer answers? Yeah, but you just, they're in stupid places. Oh, okay, okay. I think they're both bad at telling stories, though. I think Dark Souls is great at atmosphere, but not at story. I think when you do a new game plus, you re-jump into this giant thing. The fate of the curse. Can't remember. We. Man, I should. Every time we do this, it makes me want to go play more Dark Souls. Can we skip it yet? Dull Ember. I didn't get to create my character yet. 
Oh, Ian. I know. This is the good one. That's why I haven't started the timer yet. Oh, baby. Game looks good. I'm playing it at 2560 by 1440. Oh, that's why it's super wide. I love mm. how I've always not done that. Or that's do you a... have to do that? I'm sorry. That was a joke, right? What? 2560 by 1440 is still 16 by 9. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I I'm, I thought you said 2560 by 1080. Wait, when do I get it to make my... There was letter boxes. I think it's I get... after this. Should I start the timer? Yeah, you probably should. Okay, folks, here we go. Find my timer. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I am outside of the game. <laughs> That's good. It's a good sign. Oh, you know what happened to me? I, so I I picked up Vermintide 2 again, started playing it again. Uh -huh. And uh, if you don't run that game in full screen, uh, your mouse just goes out of it. And when, then you click on things. Up. Oh, I hate when games do that. And it's like a glitch. And it's really fun. I can't fix it. Okay. I assume right shoulder is light. Right trigger is heavy. B is roll. This is, uh... Oh, there's no... I hope I die. Sorry, I need to adjust the volume. This is loud on my side. Oh, that's what I was saying. I Sorry, I thought you said 25... 60 by 1080. That's nope. why I was confused. And it, and the thing was letterboxed at the time, so that's why I was like, oh, why is he playing ultra wide? Uh, by the way, I can't see chat. So. Okay. Currently, uh, we've got two people here. Actually, one of them's not me because I closed. Uh, Hi, two people. Here. Hi, Nightbot. Thanks for joining. And I think Zach's the other. Oh, three people now. Hi, hi, three people. Thanks for joining. Just blowing through all this stuff. Ooh. Okay. Should I hit these goobers? If you want to. They weren't really hurting you, though. Oh, man. I don't know that I want auto lock on. What do you think? Yeah, you're going to want it on eventually. Oh, so I should just... I was, actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to keep everything default. And it was on. Um, it's funny with your head half covering where, like, the items go and them being blank. It looks yeah. like you're playing on a phone and that's your D-pad. Yes. It's, like, really weird. This is a great start to this tutorial. Not sure where to go. Well, because you kind of started in and then here. Stopped. Yeah, Let me so just... run, run it. Came in here. Oh, yeah, there you go. There we go. I think you just missed that because you had left. Yeah, yeah, I'm having. It's part of it's the game. Part of it is the programs I'm running beside the game. Okay. Hello. A. Which one's A? This one. Got it. A. <laughs> Nope, I'm on the clock, Granny. I'm on the clock. Oh, no. Whew. Try to recall your name. Oh, we know. Oh, no. <laughs> you were. What's... Move it. Go down? I had to hit enter. <laughs> oh. I thought you hit enter before and it deleted it. <laughs> That's what I thought too. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay, what's what's be be nice to me now. I need something that's gonna be easy for a newcomer. Um ooh. Sorcerer you could do soul arrow, which is what I do, because then you can just shoot things at everyone. You don't have to fight them. Should I try that? Yeah. I am bad at this game. That's what I should try? Yeah. Okay, what's my gift? Life ring? Life ring, yeah. Oh, Definitely. Life ring. Uh, uh, I think you have to go over the body. Or maybe you finalize creation. 
I'm scared. I'm scared too. Hippie. Yeah, oh, now God, go. That's Oof. stupid. That was that's close. stupid. Be a pretty pretty girl. I like triangle characters. Yeah, must be. Ripped. Ripped. Okay, yes, here we go. Yes, we see it. What game would you both consider yourselves <laughs> good at? Oh boy. Um, oh boy. This one? I think it's this one. Or should I hit random again? Yeah. No, this is the one that you can keep, like, cranking it. Oh, you select it and then you crank it? So you... Actually, go to advanced settings for a second, just in case it's there. Oh. Is there a... Is there a Hormones? Random here. Let me go down. No, there's not a random. Okay, so go, go back to face then. There's one that says, like, generate six more. What's, well, random is... So hit random. Oh, and it generates off your current. Yeah. Yeah, it generates off your current. But if you hit, I think if you hit random a bunch of time, just keep hitting A as fast as possible. <sighs> off of this one? Yeah, just keep hitting it. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, now you're doing it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, do Big Bird. <laughs> They're all Big Bird. Which one's Big Bird? We're gonna, that, we're gonna change his name to Big Bird. That this one, one. That one. That one. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. We gotta and get started just, here. Then you just hammer it. Hammer it like ten more times. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, bottom. <gasps> bottom. <laughs> I think this one's worse. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh. no. Our shark boy. He's gorgeous. <laughs> it's not changing the hair though. I want to look at the hair. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no. It's Why definitely is the... <laughs> his bottom jaw is higher than his top jaw? <laughs> top Wait, jaw. Top jaw. Real, real cleft palate there. Oh, that's. Oh, oh I gotta make her purdy. <laughs> I love that feature where it's like, <laughs> randomize my current pick, just go further. I think it's Baldo. <laughs> Wait, what's this? What do we think? Oh, uh, schoolboy. I think it's ponytail, to be honest. Uh, or pigtails, maybe. Hmm. Sorry, I'm having trouble looking at pigtails. This one? That's a good one. That one actually looks kind of good. <laughs> yeah, let's do that one. <laughs> Gotta give her something. Uh, Zach, we'll get back to your question. <laughs> okay, I think I think that's good, right? Yes. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> she looks oh, amazing. Uh games this that we're easy. actually good at. Come here. Uh Will, you go first. Oh, I get the worst. Um game that I'm actually good at. Um Man, that's really hard to think about. Uh, what am I, I think I'm actually pretty good at Galaga. Oh yeah, I'm not bad um, at Because I'll play that a butt ton. And then, what's this? Entering mist right off the bat. Yeah, I forgot about all this. Oh yeah, so you can stand. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, but I've, but I've got ammo on that. Yeah. Um, and then I'm trying to like separate games I've played a lot versus games I, I think I'm actually good at. I'm trying to think if someone was like, this is a question of if like Satan challenged you to it, you'd have to beat him in a video oh, game. Oh, see, I don't think I. Or do better that. at him. In Oh, almost ran off that cliff. Tempted to say Mario Kart. Yeah, Mario Kart I'm pretty good at. Zach can attest to that. 
we had got Mario Kart and we're like, hey, we can play with each other. It'll be fun. And then I beat every... <laughs> Zach came in like last a couple times and I kept winning and he got very upset. <laughs> Uh, all Mario Karts or, or a particular Mario Kart? Uh, it was uh, it was eight deluxe. I really like eight deluxe. Um, but yeah, what about you? Any games that um, you could beat the devil in? See, the problem is I used to be really good at some of them, but not so much anymore. Oh yeah, I felt good. Um. I'm really good at uh, you, Factorio. I think I'm really good at Factorio. Yeah, you are good at Factorio. I don't think I could beat the devil at Factorio, but I'm, I'm good at it. Um, oh, no. Wow, my skin is so pale, it looks like an error. It looks like a missing texture. <laughs> Zach uh, wrote in the chat, Will's, very, very, uh, Will's really, really good at Mario Kart. Um, Thank you. I'm so kind. I don't know, I'm kind of a... Ooh, what's kind of a oh, shit. oh no I need to get some get the roll back I know oh two swings really you have an S this blast I don't think so. I just got this, but it's not doing anything. Um, uh, so I'll tell the story of... Um, do you ever watch uh, Tech TV? I don't think so. <laughs> Zach said, and I kept coming in third after you and Karen, and you both still beat me by 20 seconds. <laughs> uh, we Wait, should play I, some Mario Kart when you come down. That would be good, four-person Mario Kart. Yeah, just uh, hit right on the D-pad. Do you have a sword as well? No, oh, sorry, no I, I have a dagger. I have a dagger. You have a dagger. Okay. And then I can't see what's on your down. Oh, my down is my life gem, but it's it's X to use it. I was okay. hitting down. I just I just learned that it's X. Um, so do you remember Tech TV? Uh, yes. So they had a show called The Screensavers. You, you, give us smooth. You, you, give us smooth. Um, so they had a show called The Screensavers, and they used to do this thing called, uh, oh, should I drop down there? I think it's worth it. Yeah, probably. Let's try it. Oh, I'm honestly surprised that the fall damage didn't just kill me outright. <laughs> this is the type of game that would do that to me. Yeah. Um... So they used to have this segment every week called, like, Land Party, where, like, you would sign up. They would choose a game, you would sign up uh, online, and they would choose, like, 64 people to play the game. And you would get access to the server and the password. You would play the game for the entire hour episode, because the show was live. And they kept checking in with, like, oh, here's how the game's going. And then they would show scores at the end. And it was Call of Duty 1 or 2. I can't remember which. And... Um, <clears throat> Oh, there's a travel. There's a Call of Duty 1 or 2. Oh, this is where I came out of. I'm an idiot. Um, it was Call of Duty 1 or 2, and I joined it, and I finished second out of 64 people. Wow. It was pretty great. So, like, I was on TV. They were like, second place. And they, like, set my username and all this. It's good stuff. Fancy. Um, I'm not that good at it anymore. Um... Um, Zach said, next Extra Life, I'll come to you guys, Apex Legends, until we win, and then Mario Kart after that. Oh, boy. I almost think, I wish, I wish Airbnbs, you could more reliably know if they had good internet, because that would totally be worth it for Extra Life. Oh. Because right now, it's basically That's everybody's smart. coming to my condo, which is doable, it's just... Yeah. If, yeah. I wonder if that's something... I mean, you could also bring your own... Well, I guess it would depend on the service. Yeah, plus I don't... You could at least bring your own router modem. Yeah, but it's more like, do they have a 100 megabit connection? Do they have a 20 megabit connection? You know? Yeah, true. 
over here. Is this, uh, is this still the tutorial area or? Uh, no, you're in the game now. Okay. Okay. The tutorial that's... area was all fog doors and everything. Yeah, that's pretty cool that they actually seamless into it. I wasn't expecting that. Hello. Business with me. The way you Zach so says, or I've, easy. I've got all right internet at my house. Two fifty down, twelve up. I'm in quite the pickle. Now. I have. I technically have gigabit, but it's more like four fifty down, one hundred up. Which is perfect Ian, for extra life. George's studio has gigabit. Yeah, but we can't sleep there. That's true. That's it. Yeah, that's why if we could just find like a Maryland Airbnb. Come here, Goober. Let's go. I still think next year, instead of the 8 to 8, we do like a like 3 a.m. to 3 a.m. Oh, come on. What is this? Nice. You're stabbing good. Why aren't you using soul arrow and running away? That's what I would do. Let me at least heal up real quick. Oh, th this is... I just noticed he's got a big old donger, doesn't he? Does he? I don't see a big old donger. I think it's just his belly. Oh, that's only a... Wow! Yeah. Soul arrow! Is he, like, weak to it or something? No, it's just good. That's how I play most Dark Souls games, is sorcerer so i but i think there's i think in three and one are different because i do like i always have a nice sword as well but maybe you have to find one bone blocks estus recovery oh that's probably for verses i'm assuming magic's real good <laughs> okay zach wishes he had good upload me too, Zach. Me too. I'm assuming this is a shortcut. Other way, I gotta go. Let's go this way. Oh, I see you, baby. I think it's another belly boy. Oh, no! You, you gotta be kidding on. me. No, but I thought before I got to him, he turned around so it didn't count as like a critical hit. You know what I mean? Right, but you had your... You only get a critical hit if you backstab. Well, yeah, but but you only. Oh, I have. You're saying because I have my thing Staff out. Staff out. Yeah, yeah. yeah if I you see had the dagger, saying. you could have backstabbed. I got you. Yeah, because I tried to, but he out. like he saw me instead of backstabbing. I think I can go up here, can I? Yeah. Oh. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Okay, that way is blocked. Can't go that way. Got it. Those life gems, I'm assuming they don't refill at a bonfire, do they? I don't remember. I don't know why you don't have your Estus flask. I'm assuming, actually, I think you skipped her, but you ran immediately out of the hub world. So this is the uh, this is the hub area. Uh, Majula. Oh, well, uh, I not, just uh, like sorry pick, through this gate. Just picked a path. Yeah, but you just didn't come all the way out. So if you go up to that staircase, I think that's where she is. Oh, up there. Yeah, there's also a bonfire in the middle of this area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm grabbing that first. This is the music I love. It's like really soft and quiet and nice. Okay, I'm gonna head up here. Did I tell you I pre-ordered that uh, Animal Crossing Switch? Oh. I was, I, I've been thinking about upgrading my Switch, but I just don't play it enough. Yeah, I, I think I'm at the point where I play it just enough um, that it's worth it. I, and my old one, I think I'm gonna. Uh, I gotta figure out who to sell it to. I mean, I would. I mean, you could. If you didn't want to do that, you could just. I feel like GameStop, when the new Switch came out, GameStop had like. I think it was like 200 for your, for your current one. So you basically got an upgrade for 100, which was a great deal. I just couldn't justify it. Who are you? Yeah. I'll figure it out. I'll probably just. Uh, I was I was gonna ask uh, Karen's brother, because he doesn't have one, and he and his girlfriend talk about playing Mario Kart all the time. Like one yeah. and two. Is... I mean, you could probably just put it on Craigslist or something. Yeah, I have the box still and everything. I 
can't. I don't think I, I may still have my box. I can't remember. Okay. Squishy. Yes. Well, it's nice and wild. Okay. Um, so I I don't know if I mentioned this on stream, but I have started playing Metal Gear Solid Five. Uh huh. How are you um, liking it? Well, you, first of all, how far are you? How far am I? Not very. But no, give us specifics. I'm on chapter seven. Well, what is uh, what is chapter seven? What's the last thing you did? The last thing I did, uh, I, I haven't really had any major story beats. Oh, sorry, I, um, I really... The skull guy came the first time with a giant robot and picked me up and hung me upside down. I'm very, very early on. Well, I, That's not that early, though. I do hope I see you again. Right, I, I'm past the like prologue and all that stuff. But you're not. You're still in the main... You're still in the first open world area? Yeah, I'm in Afghanistan. First open right. world area. Okay. It's fun. Uh, I'm really it's really good, the gameplay. I don't I don't wanna say really good. I the Kojima games? Oh really? That's long. I mean people talked about like it's the best iteration of that game, and it really is. I mean it is, but Kojima games, especially playing Death Stranding and stuff, it's like he's got some wonk on him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like his, his menus and stuff. And especially, like, the pacing is wonk. And I think Metal Gear Solid 5 definitely still has that issue. I think Metal Gear Solid 5 might be better control-wise than uh, oh. Death Stranding. Oh, come on, really? You're gonna get murdered, by they... Why are they run automatically the hostile? You know you can hold it to run. I know, but this is more fun. This, this heals me automatically, right? Yeah. yeah. You talk, Did you talk to that lady? I wasn't paying. Which lady? Isn't there a lady somewhere? I'm just going to go over there. Um, yeah, I. so I played... I think I played a little bit further than you. No, I played I played maybe five or six hours and then I broke my elbow. So I didn't uh, play that game for like a month. I I wanna say longer, I wanna say like six to seven weeks. And then I came back to it and I got to maybe I can't remember what chapter it was. Yeah, why not? Let's enter the covenant. Yeah, sure. Yeah, why not? Who cares? Um Nailed it. There we go. Beat the game. Um, and I think when I came back to it, I got to the second continent and I opened it up a little bit and then I stopped playing. I think part of it is those boss fights are not good. There's oh, yeah. one, I haven't gotten to a boss fight yet. Yeah, there's one fight in particular that I did not like and really frustrated me. Um, and that made me just like stop playing the game. Yeah, okay. I, I haven't had a... The boss fights from three on where I only had to do maybe once or twice. And I don't think I had to repeat any boss in four. Oh, that's one and two. I spent like four hours on the end, the last boss of one. Ugh. I finished two thirds of one. That was it. I mean, I enjoyed it. I just didn't finish it. Yeah, this is other. I played every Metal Gear other than the Portal one. Oh, wait, I went that way. I played Metal Gear one and two. Uh huh. Then I played Metal Gear Solid one, two, three, four. Over the span of like seven years. But regardless, I'm really loving five and having a blast with it. So. It definitely has a good sandbox vibe to it. Yeah, and like all the controls are really good. All the stuff you do is really good. Yeah. It just feels so good. Okay. Time for me to yeah. head somewhere. You haven't died yet, right? No, I have not died yet. I was thinking I forgot to update it, but you're just good. Mm-hmm. This is a speed run. 
Corruption does not move. I know, I think it's a contraption. Oh, I, I think that's room spin. Totally Let's go room. party. Why do you have your dagger around? Yeah, why not? Guess I need to backstab somebody. Oh yeah, I can get it. No, don't, don't mimic. be trapped, don't be trapped. Can you imagine? That'd be the funniest. It'd be very Dark Souls. Ooh, you got freaking Parma, uh, Chicken Parma. Crimson Parma. I think it was a shield. Oh, nice. Yeah, look at that I can do. Shouldn't it be in that slot? I have to equip it. Yeah. You gotta put it there. Okay, Boom. no. Ooh, wait, what's this? Unable to use this item. Effectively. Oh, so I can still use it. Yeah. Okay, there we go. It'll just not very well. That's good. Hi. Oh. We were so white. I know. It really does look like an error. Oh, it oh looks like God. nothing was loaded in. This is horrible. I can't believe Karen didn't see it. That is oh, the story. Oh, I was. Karen and I were playing some RuneScape today. Good. Good. Oh. There's so much to do in it, and none of it is fun or exciting, but I'm still playing it. Yeah, it seems like a good, like, you know, when I was in high school and, like, college, I had no money. And I didn't yeah. even really, well, I had a 360, but I didn't have any money to buy games, so it was all about, like, free or cheap games, you know? Mm -hmm. And I would have loved RuneScape. Yeah, I, I just put a video on, and then I level up my mining, and then I'll mm -hmm. do something with that eventually. There's like, it's great to be poor nowadays. It's great to be a poor yeah. gamer. It's not as difficult right, as it used to be. Like they were saying, I forget who was saying, um, it might have been Mike Mahardy. He was like, if I was in college and someone gave me Red Dead Redemption 2, or like pretty much any modern open world game, yeah, you could just spend so much time doing stuff in it. Yeah. These guys suck. I keep forgetting it's there's not a heavy magic attack. Spam it, Aster. Oh, no! come on. That was a bit ridiculous. Felt a bit like he spun at the end there when he shouldn't have. First two hits I should have taken that last hit. Huh. I got a little greedy. That was a valid death, though. I got greedy and I got punished. Worth it. Punished Ian. This is kind of weird, though. This is very different from the first game. Because the first game was like throwing enemies at you from the start. And I... Yeah. That's the first enemy I've seen in the game world. Yeah. Not well, good or bad, kinda... just different. No, you fought all those guys at the very beginning. That was the tutorial area. Oh, oh, you're saying outside of the tutorial. Sorry. I think yeah. You're... Whereas there were a bunch of, like, once you went up the stairs through the little water area, you suddenly saw yeah. a bunch of guys. But I don't know if you're going the right way either. That's true. Come on now. I do like that I'm much more mobile than the previous character. Yeah. Yeah, I think we should have a, uh, uh what's that called when you, uh, like, raffle, redo something. Promise ring. No, I was gonna say we should have a Dark Souls one, not a redo, but a. Uh, 
Oh. Yeah, it's just, it's weird. I expected to auto lock on because it was doing that earlier. This feels cheap. No, it feels good. Yeah. That guy's just watching. That guy's not dead, is he? I thought I saw him. A similar um, wait. One. Turn around. Why? No, I just want to... Uh, no, I thought I saw a bonfire. Hi. See, this game, I, I can't help you because I never played it. Oh, you never played Dark Souls 2? I only watched my friend play it, and that translates... Oh, I did Ooh. see a bonfire. Here we go. That translates zero to me. Oh, but that, that reset this guy, didn't it? Uh, no, because you didn't rest at it. Yeah, I didn't rest you at it. You lit it. Gotcha. You lit... Oh, you're undead now. You look horrible. Let me... Wait, let me do this. Hello! Granny's back! Okay, oh, let me fight this goober and then I'll go rest and level up. Oh no. Oh, you, you can target that other guy. Oh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty funny. Oh boy. Two deaths. Two days. Yeah, so the problem I was having with the Google Drive is that I can't make the cell background transparent. I researched that for so long for a couple streams, but I really wanted to do it for the uh, the Will's Weird Game stream so I could have game information yeah. up there, but... I actually think eventually when I get around to it for that stream, I want to use the Giant Bomb API to put the mobile version of whatever the game is information on the side. Yeah. But I, uh... How do I level up? Uh, you need to talk to the lady to level up. You can't level up at the bonfire anymore? No. You go back to her. Same... Okay. In one, did you level up at the bonfire? Yeah, you would go to the bonfire yeah. and level up. You would cash in, level up. Yeah, because three, you have to talk to the lady, too. Same with blood you have to talk to the lady. Uh, I can't do that a Sekiro. What are they working on next from software? Uh, what's it called, Elden Ring? Oh, yeah, it's supposed to be... Um, Oh, Viking, that was right? a new attack. Did you see that? Well, they didn't really. They just teased a bunch of stuff. Well, the the uh, I think it was the leak before uh. the teaser came out. Know, like whatever. <gasps> oh, it's another death, by the way. Oh, thank you. That guy had another attack that he was holding out on me. It was like a straight stab. Oh. Can't really tell sometimes. Oh. That's another death. Another death. I'm thinking about just skipping these Coopers. They're easy to run around. I mean, they're good practice, but at the same time, I'm not planning to uh, beat this. Oh, no, wait. I'm sorry. I am beating this game, but it's a speed run. Yeah, you 80 percent speed run. Don't need to touch that because it ain't got nothing. Hi, hi. Bye. Man, I just hi. went to the wiki uh, for Dark Souls 2 that I used to be on for my friend while he was playing. Uh huh. It is. It's bringing back so many. Mostly bad ones. No. 
I'm just kidding. I don't remember where. I've only got two following me. What? Oh, let's see if he comes over here. Oh no, he does. Ah! Oh, so close. <laughs> that was worth it. Do you know what I'm supposed to do with those guys that are just chilling and I can't interact with them? Uh, you could probably just kill them for souls. There's always enemies in Dark Souls that are just resting or doing something. That sounds so mean. I mean, don't do it. You are in the right area. That's what I was looking at. Make sure you were going the right way. Oh! That was some... That wasn't full BS. It was just not expecting that from a Dark Souls enemy. Well, don't tell me if I'm not. The whole point no, is... No, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wasn't going to. Yeah, this makes me. Oh, oh those guys. Hello, Scoop Dog, 1867. Oh, Hi, right, Scoop Dog. Can't. He said he's been listening for 15 minutes, thought he should say hello. hello. Thank you for saying hello, and thank you for watching for 15 minutes. That's a record. I don't even think Zach watches that long. You know who I Whoa. miss? Where's Stream Mom? Probably Where's busy. Mason Optic? I'm about to die. Ah, oh, that see, that's a prime example of Dark Souls cheese right there, though. There was like a solid six inches between me and his weapon, and it still killed me for it. Yeah, uh, Ian, if I swung a large weapon near you, mm -hmm. the impact shot alone. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna. I'm actually gonna fight these guys for a bit. Oh. <laughs> Did you add? I think I need two more deaths. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, I think I'm at seven. I feel like I'm spying through a window if I don't say hi. That is, <laughs> that's a really good it's, way of putting that. But also, it's it makes it like it's okay to spy through a window as long as you say hi. <laughs> yeah, as long as you say hi. Oh, is this the game where it it minimizes your max health every time you die? Uh, yeah. That's, I hate that. That's just punishing. You know? Yeah. Nope. You see that attack there? Yeah. God, I hate, I hate that you. one. No, it's, it's, he, he does it. It, it, like, he does his three. And I read that, but then sometimes he's just like, nope, I'm gonna do a quick stab at the end of it, too. Yeah, so when you're like ready. trying to time your attacks out, I just mean I, I'm not saying it's cheesy or anything. It's just it's tough. I think maybe it's if I'm too close at the end of this combo. Take him. That's that one. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Nothing. Okay. Versus Halloween fully restores HP and cures all status. I think I'm gonna use this. Cause that should get me back. Oh, that's BS. Uh, yeah, this is older than Bloodborne. Yeah, but Bloodborne, Bloodborne. is older than Dark Souls Three. Yeah, but Bloodborne's a completely different game. Well. Oh, do you play Bloodborne? Yeah, I've beaten it. I think I, I think we're including it in this series though, because it's close enough. But we're not going to yeah. include. Yeah, it's closer row. than it's closer than second row, but it is yeah. wild. Like all the, like, Bloodborne is a is a game about Dark Souls parrying. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah I can believe that. 
and it's extremely hard. Like I, I have an okay time with Dark Souls. Like I can, I could, if I had the patience and didn't fall off, off for other games, I could probably <laughs> make my way through most of Dark Souls. But Bloodborne is just hard, even though I beat it, and I haven't beaten any of the no, Dark Souls games. No. Ooh, Whoa, how did I miss that? See, that felt like I cheated the, the hitbox in that. Did it again. Woohoo! I, I was waiting. <laughs> I was like, he's getting really close to that edge. I'm going to try and I'm going to run through again. Do you know if there's another area I can go to right now? Uh, yeah, you can go a different way. Okay, what's this? Take me to the different way. I just want to see something different for a while. Okay, just go go back to the the bonfire. Actually, you can travel from that bonfire to the other one. That <laughs> guy was coming at you. Oh, he lost um, aggro quickly. The other guys kept aggro for a while. I think it's because you were going that way out of the zone. Versus travel to Jula. Jula. Oh, huh. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's see if I can puzzle out where I'm supposed to go. I think there was a pathway over here. Here up, right? Yeah. Oh, no, I felt like I went this way and it's a dead end. Ooh. Oh, no, it's just to the statue. Okay, and that's that. Okay. That's just to the, I don't know what to call it, obelisk monument? I don't think it's an obelisk because it has a slight cross shape at the top. But I can go down here. Hey, I got my SS flask. He who made Drangleg what it once was. He who picked King Vendrin. Okay, got it. Not great water texture. Okay, I'm back, sorry. I I got the Estes uh, flask. I talked to the lady. Oh. Oh, she was there. Yeah, she's like down here. I knew she was somewhere. Okay, so I think if so, I was through. Way. I was through that that stone tunnel down there. That's where I was. Okay, so turn around. Okay. <laughs> I hate you so much. Okay. And then go not up there. I, I may have missed something up here, but I'm pretty sure that's that leads to this. What's this? It's nothing. This leads. Oh, Scoop Dog! It's 3 a.m. in Yorkshire, UK. Oh, you know, uh, in like six, seven weeks, I'm gonna be up there in the UK. So this leads to here. But I felt like this was a dead end for right now because that statue was in the way. Okay, so go back to the bonfire. Do you actually know where I'm going? Yeah. Okay. Do I, I also have a bonfire? Right, right now. I am back along the path that you enter, Majula. Oh, okay. So go down back to the fire. Majula bonfire? Yeah, Majula bonfire. Okay. Let me run. Okay, and now take a left around this wall. A uh, right around that wall. Oh my god. I you know just, what I did? I knew it, and I was not going to make fun of you for it, because I was like, I don't think he's that stupid. Do you know what my brain did? I said to myself, I said, okay, well, you always confuse left and right, so just, that way is left, so just say left. And I said left. Uh. <laughs> Even though it was right. Mimic me, mimic me, mimic me. Hi. 
I'll rust it clean. Thank you, Nightbot. Thanks, Nightbot. Not far from where Captain Luke Picard Star Trek was born. That's Ooh. his full name. Luke Picard Star Trek. Oh, that's a good pool animation. What did that open? This one. I'm so confused. I don't know, it's still making noises. I know. Maybe go back out? I'm trying to remember if there was another thing. Oh, maybe it was a statue? What do you think? Oh, maybe you turn... I don't actually know what you did. No, you I, th I think you want to go back that way. Back which way? Back down there. I think that door does open. Can you look up a walkthrough? Just because we got 15 minutes left. In. Yeah, I I'm on a walk. Spending a lot of time doing nothing. But I have to, like, go back to the thing to see what the next area looks like. Okay, down here, that's where the chest yeah, was. No map. Oh, here it is, it's opening. Did it, that was weird. Yeah, it made the noise. I'm pretty sure it I checked open. it. Yeah. That's weird. Maybe I accidentally exited the animation like a little bit too early. Yeah. That's weird. Let me go left. Even though I'm pretty sure it goes nowhere. You, sp you speed run it. Don't spawn it. Okay, I see a chest down there. Which I will be getting. Hello, chest. Are you, are you talking about chest? I know, I, I want to see it. I think I saw I, I, Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1, it's the it's chain killing? next to it, is how you tell the difference. That was worth testing. That was worth that was testing. A solid test. Is it going to kill me? Turns out, yes. Yeah, I, I got to be honest with you, so far I'm preferring Dark Souls 1. Dark Souls 1 just felt a little bit more, I don't want to say streamlined, it just felt a little bit more focused. Yeah. And this is like... That's a very common complaint with this game. This is the least yeah. liked game. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, Scoop Dog, never liked the first Dark Souls. GTA 5 surprised me today on how it's starting to show its age. Oh, really? And yeah, the graphics did used to be amazing. I'm curious on what he's what what why specifically he's saying it's showing a it change because I want to say the main thing I I feel like the main flaw that I have the main gripe I have with that game is like the bad UI UX for multiplayer and also the long load times but I don't think that's related to age I think that's just bad design yeah so I'm curious to hear what he's got to say I would love to boot that game up with my new graphic yeah yeah. That's, yeah. that's something I tested on me. Hello. Let me go kill this Cooper first. Hi. Oh. That feels dirty. Doesn't it? Let's go kill this troll. Oh no. Oh, yeah. I know it's it's I I'm still not used to the timing on the the magic. We're up to ten double digits digits death. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the other thing is I'm a very I don't want to say impatient gamer. I just I don't like to be disrespected. And I'm not saying that this game is disrespecting me, but games like this where they're like, oh, you made a single mistake, so now we're going to force you to go through all this stuff over again. Just to get yeah. back to where you were. 
that that makes me very frustrated. You know, not that I need my hand held, but it, it feels like it feels too punishing. At least to me, it makes me it make it's it's like I don't know. It's hard to describe. It's like yeah. I'm not re rewarded enough for what I have accomplished. Like, a Jedi Fallen Order does a great job of any time you die from a platforming death, they just respawn you nearby with a sliver of your health off. Yeah. And I love that. It's only, like, true deaths, in a way, to enemies that it sends you back. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Do it. I don't remember what the parry is. You can just leave... The guy alone for now. Yeah. The auto lock on. Put me on there. Okay, yep. Glad I guess all that guy. Oh. oh. That's some um, oh. oh, that one hurt. Cause the archer guy, he looked like he was asleep, and then I thought I may have gotten an arrow from him before. And then I got two goobers right away. Okay. How, how, what am I supposed to do for this, for my health bar? Uh, I think if you hit burn, human effigy. Cannot burn it. Maybe not. It's, it's like, why are you taking away from my health bar? It's like you're already making me drop all my souls, which is a big currency in the game. You're already making me spawn further away. Why are you then taking a sliver of my health bar? This, yeah. this, this game is a bit too sadistic. Like, I still think it's a good... I think... I appreciate these games even though they're not for me. But I think that is one of very few complaints that I have about this game that I think are completely 100% valid. Yeah, I guess. I, I feel like this game... I mean, it's more meant for people... I think you're more into that if you like Dark Souls. I still think it's just bad. The sliver of the health bar. That's just... Ugh. Like, it's a win-reward sort of thing. Like, you have more health if you're doing better, and also if you you don't use your humanity, then you can't get invaded. All that sort of stuff. Yeah, it's just like, it feels like... Too much. You know? Right. Again, yeah. I'm just saying for... I mean, to you, obviously. You don't play Dark Souls. Yeah, yeah. But it's like you're being triply punished. Yeah. But people complain that Dark Souls 1 didn't have it, even though Demon, Demon Souls had it. So it's two. Yeah, I know that other guy's there. Yeah, graphics on PC games, or on older games, sometimes Whoa. surprise me. Oh, how did I pick up three guys? Yeah. No. I don't know how that... Whew. That was a lot of slim margins there. <laughs> that whole fight, I was like... Good. Timing it. I don't want to say timing it perfectly, but I was timing it just right. Oh, that's a bonfire up there. Hi, bonfire. When do they introduce fake bonfires? Isn't that something in this series? I don't believe so. That's surprising. That seems perfect for this series. <laughs> so you run up to the bonfire and it like spawns a mini boss. I, I think there's... I think there's a, a boss bonfire. What do you mean by boss bonfire? 
I think there's a bonfire that you go to and it turns, it's like a boss, not an actual bonfire. No, you might be thinking of, I think it's Dark Souls 3, you make a bonfire? Well, I was just thinking of, you know how there's like Mimic Chest, I was thinking. Yeah. They should do the same thing, but with... Oh, no, there's no creepers out there. So I'm pretty sure. Gotta be careful around here. That's what I thought. <laughs> Do you like using magic? It definitely helps with distance. Oh, come on. That's my mistake. You guys are super. I keep... Oh, that's not the right one. So many. Some of them I was backing into on accident, but some of them. Really? I wish Dark Souls did the thing where when you level up past something, they stop attacking you. Oh, oh you're out of soul arrow. I know, and I, I thought I'd switch to my dagger, but I hadn't. Oh boy. Yeah, I Five think minutes. this may be timed. I thought I was backing into some of them, but I guess I wasn't. Um, what year was this released? 2014, I think? 11 deaths in five minutes. Yeah. Welcome to the series. <laughs> I really wish that was... <laughs> Bye, boys. Uh, let me check Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2 came out 2014. Oh. Now that. Hi. 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 And then... Yeah, Dark ah. Souls 1 was 2011. <laughs> That's another death. Man, I remember being excited for Dark Souls 2 coming out. And then Dark Souls 3 was 2016. I think I'm going to play a bit of the remastered after after our stream. Yeah, this is very... Well, I don't want to say very, but this is not as impressive as the first game. Yeah. And I don't think it's because, you know, first versus second. I think it's because the first one just felt tighter. Yeah. This game was yeah, I forget the main point, but it was very like, it's not as, it's too broad and it just wasn't as, just people didn't like it. Mm -hmm. um, I have yet to play Sekiro, Goop Dog. I own it. They can climb ladders. Did you time. see that? I would laugh if I would fall off that cliff because of the... I'll probably play... Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'll probably play Sekiro uh, this year. First game couldn't get past first enemy. Yeah, I heard that game's rough. Sekiro? Yeah. Yeah, I heard it's much more faster than... Yeah, you have a lot more movement because you can like grapple the thing. Yo, just grab your souls, and go through that. I know, but the Door. problem is, I tried that last time and I had too many on me and I couldn't finish the animation. Oh, I thought you were invincible. No, no. Because in one, you're invincible when you. No, most games you're invincible when you. Oh, I think it's opening doors. Oh. No, this one, like, I, I started the animation, but there were so many around me that they hit me and canceled it out. That's what I tried last time. I tried to speed run it. Hi. Come on. 
Yeah, you do definitely need it. You either need a controller or a dance pad for these games. <laughs> Scoop Dog spelled games wrong two times before finally getting it. <laughs> There wasn't a death in there. We're still at 12, right? No, we're at 13. I think you missed me dying at the door. Yes, I think you're right. Man, if I didn't have solar... Like, I, I tried to switch to my dagger for a bit, and I was doing, like, nine damage. <laughs> I'm glad you liked my jokes. Good time. I think there was an item back in that room, wasn't there? Back here? Yeah. See that glow? Oh, yeah. Roll, baby, roll! I don't know that I can get back there. Uh, try striking. There you go. Ugh. Nice, one bolt. Done. What a real dickbag that guy was. Oh, I've got the wrong weapon equipped. I assume that says done. I can't see the E. Unless it says don't. See, man, I... Mm. 14 done. deaths in an I'm hour. Better. I just, I hate that health bar mechanic because that one guy took me out in one hit solely because my health bar was limited. Wow. Like, I was doing fine. Me? Yeah. I'm going to cry <laughs> <on> my pillow. <sighs> 14 deaths in an hour. Dark Souls 1 was 15 deaths in an hour? Dark Souls 1 was 15 deaths in an hour. That's right, folks. I am officially better, better. at Dark Souls now. I, That's right. I wish we could repeat it with a different character. Like, wipe your brain. What? Like, have you play a different character in Dark Souls 1 instead of the one, the knight? Oh, yeah. I think I would definitely be be better at it because of the yeah. role but um I, I don't know like like i just keep coming back to like it's just an understanding of my relationship with the dark souls games which is that i have certain pet peeves or things that i don't tolerate in gaming and for dark souls they they do a lot of those things that i consider deal breakers yeah i think deal breakers is a good way because it's kind of like um it's like if you go on a blind date Mm -hmm. There are some things that are red objectively flags. bad, like red flags. Yeah, I would say red flags. There's red flags and there's deal breakers. Red flags is if they're like, oh, I haven't had a job in a year and I don't have a car. It's like, mm, that's a red flag. Deal breakers is like, uh, they blink a lot. <laughs> it's like, that is not objectively bad, but that would annoy me if they're just like, yeah, and then I um, then I uh, I went to the store and I got some uh, food for my wow. recipe. So, Dark Souls has a lot of deal breakers for me. I still think they're 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 very good games at what they do, but there's too many deal breakers for me. But regardless of that, I still have two more games in the series to play next week, next Thursday, 9 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be Bloodborne. We've been talking about it. I hear a lot of people say that is the. I've heard people say that's a very good entry point into the series. Have you heard that from people? Yeah, it, it's good. It's a really good game. Yeah, I'm excited for it. Um, and then after that is Dark Souls 3, which I've heard is a bit of a letdown. But I just played Dark Souls oh. 2. So. Two's the letdown of the series. Three's really. I really like three. I, yeah, I've heard. I've heard. I think if people are split on which one's better Dark Souls 1 or Dark Souls 3. Um, yeah. I think I've just heard more people say one versus three but that's okay um and that'll be it for time to die so two more episodes in this um i think i am improving i think i i think in this game it demonstrated that i i was actually dodging a lot of attacks even though i died one less it felt like it felt like most of the deaths were legitimate deaths in a way does that make sense mm -hmm. i don't think i don't think most of them were not bad deaths except for some of the falling off the cliff and stuff whereas i think in dark souls one it was a lot of getting ganked in a way me making mistakes yeah. um but that's gonna do it for us will i i kind of it's 10 20 
We've got something special coming out tomorrow. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I know what you're gonna say, and I'm. I, I, I might just leave. <laughs> okay, then we're not gonna show it tonight. <laughs> I know how you feel, yeah. We're going to show it. So tomorrow at noon Eastern, we have a brand new short documentary coming out. It's only our second, but we're very excited about it. Will and I shot it ourselves. Um, it's about took it out back and we shot it. We took it out back and shot it, put it out of some misery, took it to the taxidermist. Um, and that's the doc. Uh, we basically went to a an arcade inside of a 150-year-old bank in Northern Jersey. It's pretty crazy. It's about this guy who, um, he was originally a pharmacist and he started collecting all these arcade games that he played as a kid. Like, uh, I believe his first three were Miss Pac-Man, Asteroids, and uh, Popeye. And um, then he started collecting them and collecting them. He got, he got like more than 50 games and he basically got to this point where he realized he was the only person playing them. Um, and they were just in storage. And so he said, you know what, I'm going to quit my job and I'm going to open an arcade. And he found this crazy uh, old 150-year-old bank in the middle of Morristown, New Jersey. And he rented the bank, put a bunch of games in there, including inside the bank vault. And he called it Morristown Game Vault. So we went and interviewed him. We toured the arcade. A lot of crazy games. I think he had more than 20 pinball machines. Just a lot of good stuff. Um, so that's going to come out noon Eastern tomorrow. If you are excited to watch that, which you should be, um, I personally edited it. It turned out a lot better than I thought it would, honestly. Um, it's really good. That will be noon Eastern tomorrow on our YouTube channel. If you want to know about it, if you want to remind yourself, the easiest way is to go to subpixelfilms.com. That takes you right to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell, which is the notifications. And that way you'll be notified on YouTube as soon as that documentary goes live. As a backup, alternative, but really as a backup, you should also subscribe to us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, at Subpixel Team. I have personally made sure that there is both a tweet and a Facebook post that will go live tomorrow, shortly after noon, letting people know that the documentary is up, along with a little, like, 50-second teaser video of the doc and a link to the full thing. The full thing is only seven minutes, um, but you should still be excited. It's a nice little, nice little video. Other than that, Will, if people want specifically your content, where can they go? Uh, you can find me at Hunt270 on Twitter. And you can find me on Twitter at Think Gibson. And like I said, you can follow, find all of our Subpixel stuff at Facebook, Twitter, at Instagram, Twitch, and Mixer at Subpixel Team. And our YouTube channel, which is where we post all of our edited videos as well as our streams. Subpixelfilms.com takes you right there. Folks, thank you so much for joining us. This has been Episode 2, Part Dos of time to die the final death count was will 14 14 deaths uh i'm doing better next up bloodborne on thursday but tuesday what are we playing on tuesday will i believe we're playing anarchy online as part of server <laughs> quest will server quest. we're in an elevator we're rapidly approaching your floor what is your elevator pitch for server quest uh, we go online and play mm -hmm. old uh, MMO games, mm -hmm. and we look at them, and they're fun. That sounds about right. Yep. Uh, so we've got Anarchy Online on Tuesday, and uh, I don't think there's anybody around. So I think we can just – we're probably going to stream more Apex Legends this week. Um, we've got three people, me, myself, and Zach, and we really want to win. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? <laughs> no. <laughs> we really want to win so we can rub it in Will's face that we're better than him. <laughs> it's going to yeah, be good. Zach and Alexander are all going to play. We came really close last night because the one round there was like three squads left, ourselves included. And then the other round it was four people left, myself and three other people. Yeah, there was the one that I was left and there were three other people. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyways folks, this weekend yes this weekend um so just pay attention keep an eye out we'll be streaming that as well um and maybe just maybe a little bit more formula subpixel not sure yet we'll see maybe. folks thank you for joining it's about time for me to finally say goodbye but most importantly thanks for watching Bye bye <laughs>